This is the wrong way to do your MBTI personality test. I does not necessarily mean being less outgoing, N does not just refer to abstract perception, T does not just refer to logical thinking, and J doesn't inherently mean being more orderly. We're going to think a little more about these four cognitive functions. Each of these functions are experienced either in an extroverted manner or an introverted manner. This means that there is extroverted sensing or introverted sensing, extroverted intuition or introverted intuition, extroverted thinking or introverted thinking, and extroverted feeling or introverted feeling. The sensing and intuition functions are how we take in data from the world. These are our perceiving functions, while thinking and feeling is how we assess the data which we take in. These are the judging functions. Roughly speaking, Extroverted sensing takes in data from the world via tangible physical experiences, while introverted sensing refers to taking in data from the real world and forming a stable perception of the world. Extroverted intuition refers to a keen exploration of abstract ideas which may or may not have tangible impacts in the real world, while introverted intuition refers to taking all of these different ideas and boiling it down to a unified perception of the world. Extroverted thinking refers to structuring the world into systematic approaches, while introverted thinking refers to a logical reasoning of the world around you. Extroverted feeling focuses on connecting with the emotions of the people around us, while introverted feeling refers to strong, passionate convictions that individuals ought to hold. If that seems complicated to you, Kristen from Dear Kristen made an incredible video that clearly and concisely describes these cognitive functions accurately. I've left a link to her video in the video card. From the cognitive functions point of view, everyone has a dominant cognitive function and a supporting cognitive function. The four-letter code is derived in this following manner. Since the perceiving function is intuition, the second slot would have the letter N. Since the judging function is thinking, the third slot would have the letter T. The fourth slot refers to which function is the extroverted function. For example, we have introverted intuition followed by extroverted thinking. The thinking function is the extroverted function. And since the thinking function is a judging function, the fourth slot would have the letter J. And the first slot refers to which function is the dominant function. So between introverted intuition and extroverted thinking, introverted intuition is more dominant. We would fill it in with the letter I. Let's try a different pair of cognitive functions. Suppose the dominant function is extroverted sensing and the supporting function is introverted feeling. Since the perceiving function is sensing, we'll fill the second blank with the letter S. And since the judging function is feeling, we'll fill the third blank with the letter F. For the fourth blank, which of the functions is the extroverted function? Is it extroverted sensing or introverted feeling? Well, it's extroverted sensing. And since this is a perceiving function, this fourth blank will be filled with the letter P. For the first blank, we need to find out what is the dominant function. Is it extroverted sensing or introverted feeling? Well, it's extroverted sensing. And since this is an extroverted function, the first letter is the letter E. It is entirely possible for the dominant function to be a judging function. Suppose the dominant function is introverted thinking and the supporting function is extroverted sensing. The perceiving function is sensing, while the judging function is thinking. Between introverted thinking and extroverted sensing, sensing is extroverted, which means that the perceiving function is the extroverted function. Finally, between introverted thinking and extroverted sensing, introverted thinking is dominant. And since this dominant function is an introverted one, the first letter is I. So the rough process to determine one's MBTI code is to first find the dominant function, followed by the supporting function. These two are enough to help us obtain the four-letter code. But how do we go about finding the dominant function and the supporting function? This is where the personality tests come in. 
ideally with the goal of obtaining these two cognitive functions. Here's a suggested personality test. The first question is, in our natural state, do we prefer to take in data from the world around us or actionably assess the data that we have of the world? If we prefer figuring out what's going on, we would ask whether we take in data tangibly or through abstract ideas. If we prefer to take in data in a tangible manner, are we more focused on the experience right here right now or an experience that can be repeated in the future? At this moment, we can prepare our MBTI template as we figure out which cognitive functions we are using. If we prefer the sensational moments, we prefer to use extroverted sensing. And this surprisingly is enough to help us fill in the first, second, and fourth blanks in our code. When we experience these things, do we consider whether it's more rational or whether it's more desirable? In the former, we are using introverted thinking, which gives us the code ESTP, while in the latter, we are using introverted feeling, which gives us the code ESFP. Suppose we prefer experiences that can be turned into a routine. This means we prefer using introverted sensing, and this helps us fill in the first, second, and fourth blanks as well. In these routine experiences, do we think about whether they are more efficient or whether they are more helpful to the people around us. In the former, we are using extroverted thinking, giving us the code ISTJ, and in the latter, we are using extroverted feeling, giving us the code ISFJ. Suppose, on the other hand, we prefer to perceive the world through abstract ideas. Do we prefer to explore ideas as they come, or unify these ideas into a framework of the world? If we prefer to just entertain ideas as they come, we prefer using extroverted intuition. And when entertaining these ideas, do we assess them according to how rational they are or how desirable they are? In the former, we're using introverted thinking leading to the code ENTP. And in the latter, we're using introverted feeling leading to the code ENFP. If instead, we prefer viewing the world from a unifying framework, we are engaging introverted intuition. Do we assess these frameworks via how efficient they are or by how helpful they are to the people around us? In the former, we are using extroverted thinking leading to the code INTJ. And in the latter, we are using extroverted feeling leading to the code INFJ. These are the MBTI types that tend to have a perceiving function as their dominant function. If in our natural state, we prefer to take action in the world around us, do we take action according to whether it makes logical sense or whether these decisions are built upon how we feel? If the way we approach the world tends to be more logical, do we focus on whether it is more effective or do we focus on whether it is more accurate? In the former, we are using extroverted thinking. To determine whether our methods are effective, do we look at whether it is stable or insightful. In the former, we are using introverted sensing leading to the code ESTJ. And in the latter, we are using introverted intuition, which gives the code ENTJ. If we tend to think about whether our methods are accurate or not, we are using introverted thinking. In perceiving these methods, do we focus on whether it's more tangible or whether it's more plausible? In the former, we are using extroverted sensing, giving the code ISTP. And in the latter, we are using extroverted intuition, giving the code INTP. Finally, if we base our decisions according to emotion, do we tend to focus more on the emotions of the people around us or on our own personal emotions? In the former, we are using extroverted feeling. And once again, we can ask whether we use stable means to promote harmony or insightful means to do just that. In the former, we are using introverted sensing, giving us the code ESFJ. And in the latter, we are using introverted intuition, giving the code ENFJ. Finally, if we tend to prioritize our own internal emotions, we are using introverted feeling. Do we support these emotions tangibly 
or more plausibly. In the former, we're using extroverted sensing, giving the code ISFP, and in the latter, we're using extroverted intuition, giving the code INFP. These give us the personality types that use their judging function as their dominant function. This series of questions is by no means the most accurate one, but it has the goal of identifying firstly the dominant cognitive function, followed by the supporting cognitive function. These cognitive functions help us identify all of the different possible personality types according to the MBTI system. This is a mathematically thought out approach to the MBTI algorithm. And if you like a mathematical approach to Christmas gifts as well, click on the video here.